Avengers! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most frustrating cut to black endings. For this list, we'll be looking at movie endings that cut to black and left viewers wanting closure. We're not saying these are bad endings, simply a little frustrating. We will only be including movies on this list, so the infamous Sopranos ending will not be included. Don't stop. Also, this should go without saying, but spoilers. What's your favorite or least favorite cut to black ending? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, A Quiet Place. John Krasinski's A Quiet Place proved one of the most successful movies of 2018. Performing exceptionally well at the box office and earning strong reviews for its acting, unique concept, and atmosphere. That said, the ending was clearly meant to set up a sequel, and it proved a little frustrating. Reagan figures out how to expose the creature's flesh, and Evelyn takes one out with a shotgun. The movie then ends with Evelyn pumping the shotgun and preparing for a fight. It closes out on her character arc and promises a unique twist in the next movie, that being the character's knowledge of the monster's weakness, but there's nothing more frustrating than an ending that leaves the story unresolved and blatantly sets up its own sequel. Number 9. A Serious Man When it comes to the Coen Brothers filmography, A Serious Man is often overlooked. That's a shame because it contains one of their best endings. The movie explores the powerlessness of a man in the face of God and the meaninglessness of life's tragic events. It's not the cheeriest of movies. Why does he make us feel the questions if he's not going to give us any answers? <sighs> he hasn't told me. After grappling with his faith throughout the movie, Larry succumbs to temptation and accepts a bribe. God doesn't take too kindly to this, and Larry immediately receives an ominous phone call from his doctor. Larry, could you come in to discuss these x-ray results? You remember the x-rays we talked about? We can't discuss them over the phone? I think we'd be more comfortable in person. Meanwhile, his son is stuck in the path of a massive tornado and the movie ends with a haunting shot of the apocalyptic blackness approaching his school. The biblical parallels are obvious, and it leaves the movie on a horrifying note. Your eyes, I say your eyes may Number 8. Reservoir Dogs Serving as Quentin Tarantino's first major movie, Reservoir Dogs is also his bleakest, both in terms of tone and story. You're gonna be okay! <laughs> Say the goddamn words, you're gonna be okay! The ending in particular is a total bloodbath, complete with poor Nash's death and the Mexican standoff that kills Joe and Eddie. No need for this, man. Let's just put our guns down and let's settle this with the f conversation. But the most frustrating aspect is the fate of both Orange and White. The two share an intimate bond throughout the movie, leading Orange to painfully admit to White that he's an undercover police officer. White kills Orange in retaliation and is shot down by the police as a result. Cut to black. It's the director's bleakest ending, even though these are murderous criminals, and that jarring tonal shift from the bloody climax to the poppy credits music is pure Tarantino. Is that as good for you as it was for me? Number 7. Prisoners 
Denis Villeneuve's first English language film, Prisoners tells a seemingly simple story about a father taking justice into his own hands after his daughter Anna is abducted. Someone has to make him talk. Someone. Anna's father, Dover, is later imprisoned by the kidnapper as well, and finds his daughter's emergency whistle. When Loki returns to search the house, he hears the faint sound of a whistle blowing, indicating a possible rescue of Dover. Pray for the best, prepare for the worst, yeah. Dover's fate is left ambiguous, but we can infer that he's saved due to Loki's tenacious professionalism and willingness to help, as well as Dover's steadfast survivalism. The ending is also quite satisfying on a thematic level, and in that way, the movie assuredly succeeds. Number 6. The Blair Witch Project Opinion remains firmly divided over the quality of The Blair Witch Project. A particular source of contention is the ending, with some finding it a stellar and horrifying image, with others finding it frustratingly ambiguous. Come on! I hear him downstairs! Heather makes her way down to the basement and finds Mike standing in the corner, a nightmarish image and a throwback to the Rustin Parr story they heard earlier. Said in court that he couldn't take the eyes on him. He could, he could feel the eyes watching him, that's why he made him face into the corner like that. She screams and is attacked from behind. The end. <laughs> All three protagonists certainly die, but the logistics of the scene tend to bother some viewers. Was it the witch? Was it Josh? Was it Josh acting on orders of the witch or possibly under her possession? The movie doesn't give us answers and it's all the scarier for it. Number five, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Often heralded as one of the funniest movies of all time, Monty Python and the Holy Grail has a suitably hilarious ending to prove its reputation. Castle Ah uh, has been taken over by French soldiers, and both Arthur and Bedivere launch an assault with an army of knights. Stand by for attack! It promises to be an epic battle sequence, but this being a wacky and low budget comedy, the movie throws a wild curveball. <laughs> Anachronistic police drive up, arrest the main characters, and break the camera. It's so hilariously surreal, ridiculous, and anticlimactic that viewers can't help feeling both amused and bemused. And therein lies the wondrous magic of Monty Python. All right, Sonny, that's enough. Just pack that in. Number four, Avengers: Age of Ultron. Quite frankly, how dare Joss Whedon do this to us? Age of Ultron promised us the epic and long-awaited Avengers Assemble. Well, it didn't promise us, but we were expecting it nonetheless. Cap and Black Widow talk about beating a team into shape, and we watch the epic gathering of War Machine, Vision, Falcon, and Scarlet Witch. They're good. They're not a team. Let's beat them into shape. The music swells, the camera zooms into Cap's proud face, and he declares, Avengers! Just before he could say, assemble, the movie cut to credits, and had us all throwing popcorn at the screen in utter disappointment. Fine. I'll do it myself. Of course, we finally heard the iconic line four years later in Endgame, and it was worth the wait. Avengers! Assemble. Number 3. No Country for Old Men Another Coen Brothers masterpiece, No Country for Old Men is one of the most faithful movie adaptations ever made. We'll always say the same thing. It borrows nearly every scene and line of dialogue from Cormac McCarthy's novel, including this infamously anticlimactic, if beautiful and poetic, ending. Sheriff Bell never catches Shigur. He doesn't even save Moss. Rather, he retires from law enforcement owing to his feelings of hopelessness and tells his wife about some dreams he had. Loretta tells me you're quitting. How come you're doing that? I don't know. I feel overmatched. 
The dreams contain enormous thematic relevance, but Bell's telling of them serves as a very bizarre and untraditional way to end an exciting chase thriller. It was cold, and there was snow on the ground, and he would rode past me and kept on going, never said nothing going by, just rode on past. Then again, subversion is entirely the point. It's up to the individual viewer whether or not they want to accept it. Then I woke up. Number two, The Thing. John Carpenter's masterpiece, The Thing, is one of the best horror movies ever made, and it contains one of the bleakest endings in the history of cinema. Having destroyed both the base and The Thing, McCready and Childs share a bottle of scotch and stew in their paranoia as they slowly freeze to death. You kill us? Where were you, Childs? Many viewers like to posit whether Childs was The Thing, but that's beside the point. Won't last long, though. Neither will we. How will we make it? Maybe we should. The point is that the thing has utterly obliterated their trust in each other, and that the group's paranoia and unwillingness to trust each other eventually led to their literal destruction. People absolutely hated the ending back in 1982, and we can't exactly blame them. It's great stuff, but it's also horribly bleak, pessimistic, and nihilistic. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Inception Perhaps the most infamous cut to black ending of our time, Inception really leaves viewers' minds spinning. So a totem. You need a small object, potentially heavy, something you can have on you all the time that no one else like knows. Like a coin? No, it needs to be more unique than that. Like The Thing's ending, this one is largely served for a thematic purpose. After finally earning his way home and getting to see his children, Cobb abandons the totem altogether and chooses to ignore its reality. He has his kids, and that's all that matters. Look who's here. But again, that hasn't stopped fans from theorizing about the nature of the ending. Some even bring Cobb's wedding ring into it, a fan theory that has gained an enormous amount of traction throughout the years. And while it doesn't really matter if the ending is a dream or reality, the lack of a definitive answer certainly proves a little frustrating. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.